Bananas are believed to first appear thousands of years ago, although it hasn't always been the same yellow, delicious and seedless banana we know today. Wild bananas look something like this, full of seeds and not so much pulpy deliciousness. Today, we are gonna dive deep into the evolution of the banana. Bananas are believed to have originated up to 10,000 years ago, and some scientists even say that they may have been the world's first fruit. The first bananas are thought to have grown in the region that includes the Malaya Peninsula, Indonesia, the Philippines, and New Guinea. From here, traders and travelers took them to India, Africa, and Polynesia. There were references to bananas from 600 BC, when Buddhist scriptures, known as the Pali Canon, noted Indian traders traveling through the Malaysian region had tasted the fruit and brought plants back with them. In 327 BC, when Alexander the Great and his army invaded India, he discovered banana crops in the Indian valleys. After tasting this unusual fruit for the first time, he introduced this new discovery to the Western world. By 200 AD, bananas had spread to China. According to the Chinese historian Yang Fu, bananas only ever grew in the southern region of China. They were never really popular until the 20th century, as they were considered to be a strange and exotic alien fruit. It's important to note that those bananas were not yet like the ones we enjoy today, which are completely seedless and sweet, pulpy goodness. Bananas as we know them began to be developed in Africa about 650 AD. There was a crossbreeding of two varieties of wild bananas, the Musa acuminata and the Musa balbaciana. From this process, some bananas became seedless and more like the bananas we eat today. During those times, the Islamic conquerors were bringing bananas to Palestine. Today, banana consumption is quite significant in Islamic countries, due to Ramadan, the month of daylight fasting. Bananas as well as coconuts were encountered by European explorers during the Magellan Expedition in 1521, in both Guam and the Philippines. Lacking a name for the fruit, the ship's historian Antonio Pigafetta described them as figs more than one palm long. Also during the 16th century, bananas were introduced to South America by Portuguese sailors who brought the fruits from West Africa. Those first bananas that people knew in antiquity were not sweet like the bananas we know today, but were cooking bananas or plantain bananas with a starchy taste and composition. The bright yellow bananas that we know today were discovered as a mutation from the plantain banana by a Jamaican, Jean-Francois Poujat, in the year 1836. He found this hybrid mutation growing in his banana tree plantation with a sweet flavor and a yellow color instead of green or red. As late as the Victorian era, bananas were not widely known in Europe, although they were available. Jules Verne introduced bananas to his readers with detailed descriptions in Around the World in 80 Days, released in 1872. In the 1940s, the Panama disease ravaged Caribbean and Central American banana plantations, resulting in the extinction of the Gros Michel variety and being replaced with the Cavendish type. The transition to the new banana cost millions and took more than a decade to complete. In 1954, the price of bananas rose so high it was called green gold. Later, bananas began being grown in more and more places worldwide, which means the price was getting lower and lower. In the 1970s, Americans ate an average of 18 pounds of bananas a year. But in Uganda, Rwanda and Burundi, people eat around 550 pounds of bananas a year. This is due to them drinking plenty of banana juice and beer made from bananas. In 1998, worldwide demand dropped. This led to overproduction and a further drop in prices. However, in 2003, people were really enjoying their bananas, making them hit an all-time selling history record. Nowadays, the banana industry is facing another round of an aggressive fungus, similar to the ones that hit in the 1940s. This fungus is called Fusaria motoritissimum and known as Tropical Race 4, or TR4. Unlike the previous banana diseases from the past, this fungus infects Cavendish plants, which means that the banana we love today could disappear in the future. So let's not take it for granted and enjoy some bananas. Well guys, thanks for watching until the very end. Don't forget to like the video, 
subscribe for more evolution videos. Also, leave me a comment saying what you would like to see next. Okay, peace.